The night before the fight, the Yats threw away their fear by drinking the night away, while Rothgar told of the bloodbath that would happen tomorrow morning, reducing the soldiers in number. Then the Yats joined them at the table as they drank and feasted. Grendel came out of the marsh, angrier than ever. He walks up to the glimmering hall where all of the Yats were sleeping peacefully. He stood before Herod, clenched his claws on the fasteners, and ripped the door right off. There stood in front of him a crowd of sleeping Yats, waiting to be slaughtered by the monster. Grendel snatched the first Yat he came across to and ate him. Beowulf was watching Grendel's every move, waiting for the right time to strike. Grendel picks Beowulf up, and to his surprise, can't clench to him. He was astonished by this man's power. Grendel never faced a human this strong. He tried to run away, but Beowulf stopped him. Grendel was screaming in pain, trying to get away from Beowulf's strong grip. Beowulf tore the arm off of Grendel, and that is when Grendel, Grendel finally broke free of Beowulf's grip traveling home just to die in his den. Crowds of people went to search for Grendel to finish him off, but nobody could find him. No one felt any remorse for the monster, and when the crowd came back from the hunt, they celebrated with rejoice. Beowulf put the arm of Grendel in the rafters of Harrow to represent victory. Many people wrote about the stories and tales of Beowulf defeating Grendel. Okay, I just stop this thing. I'm gonna press the